everybody, Carissa here with Inky Fairy Designs, and I'm a Ranger Ink guest artist today, and I'm going to show you how I created this um, journal, art journal page in my Dina Wakely Media Journal. Now, I get a lot of questions on how do I use the burlap pages in this journal. If you aren't familiar with this journal, it has all kinds of different substrates in it, um, watercolor paper, craft cardstock, um, heavy cardstock, that kind of thing, and also... Um, some canvas and this burlap paper, which, um, well, it's not exactly paper, it's actually burlap. And a lot of people are intimidated by it, myself included. So what I do is I just look at it as any other page. When I turn to it, I don't treat it any different. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys uh, one of the ways that I thought would be fun to create on the burlap pages in this journal. So I'm starting by um, collaging some um, just regular um, napkin onto my page and I kind of you know napkins are two ply so I pull out that second ply and then I'm just left with this very thin pattern piece of it and I use the uh, multi matte medium by Ranger to collage that to the burlap and what's great about that is you still get that awesome burlap texture but it kind of fills in all of those holes that when you're painting and adding stencils and ink and all that on top wants to kind of, you know, go through and seep through those holes. Having that napkin over that kind of prevents that, but you still have that awesome burlap texture. So you can see that um, actually you it kind of looks like that pattern is imprinted into the burlap now, which I think is really cool. I'm adding um, some texture with this cellular stencil by Dina Weekly using the texture paste and transparent gloss. And I'm wiping away some of the harsh lines that were left behind by the stencil. And you know it's dry when it's completely clear like you can see here. Now, it looks really awesome like this. I wanted to add a bit of the gesso just to give, um, kind of push some of that back. Um, I really like the way it looks right here <laughs> now that I'm watching the video, but um, I kind of wiped some of it, more of it in with a baby wipe so that it wasn't completely covered. I kind of wipe up some of that gesso with the baby wipe, but I did end up gessoing like the entire page with just a very thin layer. Um, so you can still see the pattern behind it, um, but it, it's a little bit muted now. So I'm coming in with this jumbled number stencil with the um, umber paint, and I'm just sponging some of that to give myself a little bit of a pattern on that background. And you'll see here um, on the opposite side, I'm not really working on that side for this page, but I'm cleaning off all of my um, stencils over there and kind of my excess paint from the stencils and my sponge because I'm not cleaning off my sponge or I'm not actually using a new sponge for each color. I'm just kind of wiping it off on a baby wipe off to the side and then I'll um, wipe off some of the extra color onto that opposite page and just go right into the other color. So I'm taking out this um, this fractured circle stencil which to me looks like those scribbly florals and I'm creating um, some clusters of flowers on my page and I use blackberry violet and fuchsia to create my flowers I just mix those together and then um, using evergreen paint and the fronds of foliage stencil I'm just adding some some leaves around my flowers and kind of just bringing and building up that background and you can kind of see off to the left how that, how I'm just like that excess paint. I don't want it to go to waste. So I'm just kind of throwing it over there. And it, the great thing about that is that you get like a whole new background, um, a page started, you know, for the next time. You don't even have to think about it. So I wanted to add some of these encouraging words from the Faces in the Crowd stencil. I love these, the text on this page or on this stamp set. It says, be kind to yourself, you radiate beauty, and you are enough. So that's kind of where my title of this piece came from, Encouraging Words. Um, I just, you know, it's always good to kind of 
give yourself positive reinforcement. I know for me personally, I'm always talking down to myself and that's not always great. So, you know, adding these words of encouragement to my journal page kind of helps to bring that positive reinforcement to me. And I'm adding it to my page by stamping it on the Dina Wakely media tape, the blank tapes with an archival ink. And that way I can put down some paint. I don't have to worry about the texture on the back of the page. And I know I'm going to stamp fine because I'm able to stamp on a flat surface and just add that tape to my page. So using um, this new, the metallic rosy I love this. It's like a rose gold. I put a um, fine liner tip on it and now I can use it to scribble and make some cool designs. So I just scribbled the flowers on there and then using the food ball pen I am just highlighting those leaves and kind of just doodling and um, that's pretty much the end of my page. So you can see I had an extra tape and I put it on the other side. So that side is all ready to go. I have a page that I can just keep going on. But here's some close-ups of my journal page today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I haven't done a video for you in a while, but I'm trying to get some of those back on here. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Take a look at the blog post over at Ranger Inc. and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.